This Marquee Dragon video is sponsored by Shattered Crystal, game codes and items. Hello, Marquee Dragon, also known as Marcus Eikenberry in real life, and uh, this is installment four of our On the Road. And uh, today we are, uh, we've got Nicholas Patterson, who is at Deakin University in Australia. He's working on his PhD in virtual theft. And uh, he has another question here for me. And uh, it's, a, it's a pretty interesting one. It's, uh, why do you think virtual property eventually moved into having real world, real world value? Well, <clears throat> it, it was inevitable. I mean, if you look at like Second Life, Project Entropia, these, these are games that were designed on having actual real value to the items, uh, real world value that can be cashed out. And this is just a natural progression because it's something that the players wanted. And if they didn't want this, then it never would have happened. And uh, that is why we see so many free-to-play games today, because the, the only way to compete against it is to, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. And uh, so by joining them, they actually, you know, weed out the competition of the would-be gold farmer and turn it into a primary market instead of a secondary market. So, yes, it was inevitable, and uh, it's really because um, the market demanded it. Anyway, if you're wondering where I'm at, I'm out here at Bryce Canyon in Utah, and uh, it's one of our national parks. A uh, beautiful place where at uh, Sunset Point, and it's just about sunset. Could it be any more perfect? Anyway, I'm Marky Dragon. Take care. Well, everyone that finds